Hey guys, as you know, we have been traveling in our RV for seven years and depending on our family's goals and needs and really the size of our kids, we've had to make adjustments in what we travel with. When we first started off, we had this great class C. It was only 30 foot. You could get into all the national parks. Our kids were little, so it slept seven of us really well. Then after a few years, the kids got so tall, as tall as me, we needed bigger beds. We needed more space in our RV. So we got this 42 foot fifth wheel and it was so great to have that much space. In fact, we still have it. However, right now it's really important to me to maximize my summer adventures. And we needed something much smaller that we could tow with our truck and Quite honestly, I also really wanted something that I could get off grid for because, you know, if things turn south, go a little bit bad, I want to be out of the city. I want to go down a dirt road and be able to be self-sufficient and camp just out in the wilderness off grid and not worry about the chaos. And I could not do that with my 42 foot fifth wheel. So I want to give you a quick tour of our new little travel trailer. It's called Nomad. And it's great because we got it at a really cheap price and it has a few things that need to be fixed, but check this out. So we got this beautiful kitchen. We need to install some countertops still. Quite honestly, the reason we bought it was because it was already painted blue and we love the color turquoise. Uh, right now, Gabby and Isabel are traveling on their own in our first class C, so we only have to sleep five. So it's great. We've got a bunk for Ta Tatiana, a bunk for Jiraiya, a bathroom that also needs to re be remodeled still. But this one has running water in our class C. As you know, probably you've been following us for a while. We froze the pipe so it doesn't have one. Right now, and then Danny can sleep up here on this couch. I really love that these, um, these are the original table from the RV. And we have all this storage. We definitely need to add some shelves in here though. And check out our room. I have to see because it's white and all the windows are open and I don't know, all the fresh air comes in. Victor and I wake up every morning saying, wow, it's amazing how great we sleep in here. So this is our, our uh, comfy bed, our cute little uh, bedroom here. And I love that they had a little closet area. And one of the other things about being self-sufficient and being able to, you know, check out of society and go off grid, you know, we're allergic to the rat race and all, um, was to be able to feed ourselves. You know, in our big class or our big uh, fifth wheel, we would carry two freezers full of meat just in case. But then that means you always need to have full hookups and electricity. And that was just not realistic. So we teamed up with four patients again to travel now with... 30 day supply 